Arts and Homelessness International is delighted to join poets and cultural organisers from working class communities for the Poetry Showcase Working Class Poet an online event on the 22nd of November 2023, organised by the National Poetry Library. Poet Strike features readings from Arts and Homelessness International's associates in the UK, Amira Sala, Gemma Lees, Kate Betty Scott and Surfing Sofas, and creatives in Argentina, Stella Maris Linden, Notan Dicentes, all of whom have a personal experience of homelessness. Our poets are not just producing striking poetry, poems that make you stop and notice, that light you up, that sweep you away, that wake you up. They are using their poetry to challenge the systems that create and perpetuate homelessness. Poet Strike is more than just a reading. It is a call to all of us to stand up for people who are experiencing homelessness and to fight for a world where everyone has a home. They're searching for him. Young boy, unemployed, left his family to embrace who he can love. They ask, is he lost? Will he ever be found? They are not looking for young boys. Young boys don't want to be found, so hide behind trees they are not tall enough to climb. They're searching for young girls now. Saying they're victims of a system, forgetting that the system is people who look like you and me in rooms exactly like this, asking, where can we find them? If we walk down Birmingham streets, she is young girl with homeless, hungry, only speak Czech on a dirty card cut out from the back of a McDonald's Happy Meal. She is lost in a country that is leaving her right now. They ask, are we lost? This generation is lost, crazy, outlandish, too PC. For a united that can't function without young people but never set up anything for young people, how dare they ask if they are lost? To answer, no, they are not lost. They are actively hiding away from all this corruption that has been served to them on a plate without giving them options to say no. This isn't what we want, need, like, deserve. They ask, is he lost? When they are not referring to themselves as he anymore, they are they and respect should come to everyone. Acknowledgement of humans, people, he, she, us, We, they, are not lost. Not difficult to find. Just not enough effort. We are scared of the human, right? Scared there will be no more human, right? Scared there's no more human, right in human, or any more human rights. So I might be the wrong person to answer when they ask, are young people lost? Because maybe they are. Maybe it's just a statistic old, never seen daylight, but maybe it's navigating through hard times. And if there's people behind it, it will always be steered from behind to ensure young people never have to ask if they have been lost in a system. Floorboards. These are the floorboards you asked for. These floorboards are yours. And the plaster that rains dust with every slight touch and the raised nails and buckled screws, all of this belongs to you. Remember those nights when you laid right awake while the building quaked with the sounds of cohabitation, the slams and slaps and shouts and screams, imagining the soundest of sleep when you reach your destination. Now you keep the TV on all night because silence sounds worse. And you thought that there was fuck all in your purse till you found out how much carpet costs. This is what you counted down to. This is what you celebrated. Now you exist in a mess you never created and can't afford to fix. 
And they're only forced to give a shit until you sign on the dotted line. And now you sit inside alone all the time and lay awake at night counting the gouges and furrows and holes and all the nout you ever got left over from your dome. And the rigmarole that scored you your floorboards. And the stillness and illness and listless life stalled the sawdust, the rust, tepid trust gone and all. Home. Warm socks, safe locks, dots of life more than twice. Bed frames, framed pictures, animal creatures, ceiling feelings, greetings, meetings, community, humanity, hot water, warm laughter, beds after. Curiosity intimately, safely indulging books and kooks on the television. Ceilings protecting the essence of you and your family too. Friends who tend to tend to love you. Watching rain stain windowsills. Dry, wild, kind, safe embrace. Mouths kissed in every essence of the things that are missed. Bills missed. Credit checks, partners left. Feet sore, rent sore. Depression, eviction, rough sleeping. Money for keeping us safe goes on fencing and spikes on bus stops to literally stab us. This is a war and you want to fight us. But sleeping rough is only the shop window of poverty. The actuality is clear and in reality everywhere totally. I know what a home is. But privilege is something I struggle with. So what will you do with your many gifts and what will you choose to give? Recordando mis épocas. Recuerdo que de niña era muy feliz en Catamarca. Llegué de bebé desde Buenos Aires. Mamá me llevó ahí a casa de mis abuelos. Estuve hasta los nueve años. Disfrutaba tanto de los animales, de sus coloridos y hermosos cerros. Recuerdo andar a caballo, la escuela rural, los maestros, su amor y paciencia. Pero el destino me devolvió a Buenos Aires. Sentí tanta angustia en sus calles, en mí. Recuerdo después el horror, el miedo a la dictadura militar. Tenía 15 años. Salía a trabajar para ayudar a mi madre y veía a las madres de Plaza de Mayo reclamar por sus hijos desaparecidos. Nunca olvidaré este dolor. Hoy sigo caminando y luchando por mí, por el nunca más, con estas alforjas de recuerdos que cuidan mis espaldas. Now, on the struggles, the sad deaths, paid for some people's luxuries and happy lives. Homelessness gives people jobs that have never paid them better. No wonder it looks like something they'll perpetuate forever with their tainted, twisted views. And I've come to realize that they hate the bitter truth, but they love the sweeter lies. <laughs> While we're just sitting here in shadows of sorrow as we hope for light, under days of stress, hoping relief will come overnight. You know it's like a hopeless fight where you wander through the day, wishing you were like the rest who have a place to go at night. <laughs> but you know this, right? I'm not so optimistic, but I believe there's hope in sight because special neural pathways are formed when a poet writes. And it's ironic how this team of writers have come together and gone to work for this poet strike. <laughs>